Yeah, I'm gonna say welcome to Divine Energy Tarot. I'm Divine Energy. What's good? Okay, y'all. So let's get into it. We got messages for Capricorn. Capricorn. All right. Let's get the present situation. What's going down in the present? Current situation for Capricorn here. Present current situation for Capricorn. Well, in the present situation, I see it's something that you're healing from. Also, it's like you're you're healing, but you're gaining a new energy, which is so weird. It's like I'm why I'm kind of staring at it. It's like whatever you're healing from is making you a better person. Is what I'm getting something from your past, something that you had healed from. It took a lot of people. I feel like you got a lot of help when it comes to healing whatever that this was for you, Capricorn. It's like you got you had a lot of support. I'm hearing like community, family, teamwork. Okay, makes the dream work. Capricorn. Okay, what else is going on in Capricorn's present situation? Yeah, Queen of Cups energy. I know. See, I told you you were healing, nurturing yourself from a situation. This could have been a toxic past, tumultuous past. Here I'm hearing, yeah, where you felt kind of trapped. Something that you were doing made you feel trapped. This relationship from the past. I think you had to heal from here. They're saying Six of Cups. Uh, relationship from the past this could have also been like healing from past paradigms maybe the way that you grew up um the way that you perceive the way that you grew up right kind of understanding that a little bit differently um now that you've matured now that you're older now i don't think it's all about being older but just maturity right it's set in for you right now in the present energy for Capricorn. Well, what's else is going on? Okay, so you've worried about finances, money. What's going on with the Page of Pentacles? I feel like you got a lot of options. I feel like right now your biggest thing that you're working through is your disappointment. Because there was a lot of disappointment that you had to face in order to be triumphant over it. So in order to be triumphant over the disappointment from the past, you had to choose to kind of find that inner peace. Choose to find peace, okay, within your current situation is what I'm getting. It's like you had to learn to choose to be happy. Despite what was happening around you, Capricorn. Again, this is a big message for Capricorn. I'm just getting a lot of maturity and growth for you right now in your present situation. In your present, present situation, I see. Yes. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world. Yeah, it was like there was a lot of things you had to learn about life. You had a lot of growing up to do. It was like some... I'm getting Capricorn. It's like you came from somewhere where for you, you thought like it was a really low spot or a fucked up spot to grow up in. But now that you've gotten older, more mature, more wiser, you realize that actually it made you into who you are. And then like... It kind of molded you. And like you were sheltered from a lot of different things. I feel like you're you're recognizing that. Even though you felt like you had to experience other 
um, extremities on other ends or other difficulty on other ends of the spectrum. I feel like that's what you're understanding now, you know? Like the more, it's like the, they're saying the more your maturity, the more you gain maturity here. In your present situation for Capricorn right now at this time. Okay. Well, you, you're not looking bad right now, Capricorn. Let's talk about... Um, your future. Let's talk about Capricorn's future right here. Capricorn for the future for this reading here. I see you learning how to stick up for yourself, like in a way that maybe it was difficult for you to do, but now you're doing it in an effortless way. Moving forward in the future for Capricorn. A little stubborn. I kind of feel like this is because, you know, for a time you're going to be like really focusing on yourself. So it's kind of like you're not going to, when you do finally, if for my singles, when you do finally get back into love, it's like you're going to be a little stubborn and you're going to be a little, have, you know, more of those boundaries that you probably needed in the beginning. But it took uh, some time and experience to get there. Okay, Capricorn. So don't feel so bad. Okay, be patient with yourself. Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> be patient with yourself. Okay. As well as whoever that's coming in trying to love you. I can't make this shit up. Whoever that's trying to come in and love you. Okay? Be patient. All right, Cappy. Cappy Wabby. That's what I'm seeing in the future. Let me get a love message, though. Hold on. All right. Hold on. Let me pull one love message for you, at least. Love and romance. Cappy Wappy. I can't leave it like that. We got the two of cups out here. Let me talk about it real quick. All right. Come on, Capricorn. Get it together. They said, oh, forget it. Forget it. <laughs> What's coming out for Capricorn at this time? Your Holy Spirit. There's somebody significant that you're wanting to come back, Capricorn. They're saying when this person comes back, you have to really stick up for yourself and put your foot down, like, so that things from the past can't reoccur. Because it's almost like you would have done all of this for nothing. So that's what what I think that this step sitting in your ground or being really firm or stubborn is coming from. Maybe somebody from your past. <clears throat> See reconciliation here. So you might, again, give somebody a chance, right? And... They're needing to go the distance to show you um, that they're serious, okay? That they mean business. All right, Capricorn. <clears throat> Passion, round and around. You feel like this person could be like playing with you all. You're no longer, somebody that you're no longer in a honeymoon phase with. You feel abandoned, orphaned, or you could also feel that you don't want that to happen or something like that with someone. But this person is not for you, okay? They're not for you. I already picked that up, but I was just waiting to see what you was going to tell me here, oracles. All right, now. Okay, Capricorn, they're not for you, whoever this person from the past. I could see if it's new love. You know what I'm saying? For you, Cappity Wappity. I think if it's not new love, then maybe just move on. That's what the cards are suggesting. But you ultimately have the outcome 
Okay, based on what you do. So this is what I'm getting for Cappy Wappy at this time. Love you. Bye.